The recent cold snap is serving as inspiration for some of the city's budding young artists. Ten primary schools are involved in this year's Peninsula Schools Art Exhibition, held at Bayfield High School. And the college's head of art and photography is happy to promote art to the young pupils. I think the purpose of Holden's area is to bring the cluster schools together from the Peninsula and the area that we are in. Um, but also it's just to promote that whole thing about thinking outside the square. We have literacy and numeracy that we have a lot of funding for from the Ministry, but as far as creative arts is concerned, there's not a lot. Lammers says the exhibition also allows teachers to see what's being done in other schools, so they can take ideas back to their own classrooms. This year, there's increased use of digital and photographic techniques, creating more diversity. Standards seems to be getting higher all the time, and they come up with some wonderful ideas. I mean, as a, as a secondary school teacher, you look at some of the stuff and say, oh, I never did that when I was at school. You know, and you know a lot of it's got to do with the teacher, but some of these kids just have wonderful ideas. A number of awards have been dished out to entries from each school. Anderson's Bay pupil, Honey Hinere, is one recipient of a highly commended award. Her picture inspired by autumn, her favourite season. It's the sunset with a tree and the sunset, um, like its leaves are falling, so that's why we did it at school. Honey's deciduous tree work features paint and Indian ink and she says being able to use different materials and techniques is one of the reasons she loves art. You can like create stuff um, with paint and draw stuff with it. Members of the public have until Friday to check out the exhibition and explore the seasons through a mixture of painting, photography, fashion and collage. Ruby McAndrew, 39 Dunedin News.